The legendary Sarah Michelle Gellar returns for her new series that I'm sure a lot of folks had their eyes set on. We're ready to jump into my review of the first two episodes of Wolfpack. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel today for another review. Today, we're going to be reviewing the series Wolfpack, which is streaming now on Paramount+. Plus. There's going to be a new episode weekly. So, yes, folks, you can check out episode one right now. I have checked out the first two episodes. So, I'm here to tell you my thoughts and sort of my reactions to what I've seen thus far. But without a doubt, without a doubt, I think that this series comes in perfect marketing. You just had... Uh, the Teen Wolf movie dropped the same day that you have a series called Wolf Back and you, I'm sure, thought maybe they are connected, but they're not. They are different. They're different for a lot of reasons. One, I think the production on this looks light years better than what uh, we got on MTV years ago. So, you know, granted, yes, time difference, I get it. But also, I think the toning is a lot different. And I also think things are a lot moderate with this as well, too. Modern, should I say, uh, with this. Uh, and I also think that there's a lot more of a mystery element to this, more than just a drama, romantic sort of spin on things, uh, this, this vampire, werewolf, uh, genre that has been so popular for over the years. I think this one's taken more of a, give me that more mystery aspect of it. Because, like, honestly, for the first two episodes, I'm still kind of wondering, like, wait, what is happening? But, like, granted, let's just start with Sarah. You know, legendary, iconic Sarah uh, uh, Michelle uh, Geller, who, you know, we've seen from over the years, from Buffy uh, to Scooby-Doo, Cruel Intentions. I mean, I know what you did last summer. It, seeing her on this project was instantly a no-brainer and i have to say that for the first two episodes i am still very much like what's really the deal with her character she's in the front of the promotional material and in front of the posters and all over the trailers but for the first two episodes we really don't know what her true intentions are she is a um what do we what, what do you call it um, an, an arsonist investigator. So she's here trying to figure out who started this wildfire here in California. Um, and we'll talk more about it. But like, other than that, she's just asking a lot of questions. We just don't know like what's truly her motives behind them. And like, because yeah, it's more than just her doing her job and being a part of the uh, the LA uh, Police Department, the L LAFD Fire Department. Excuse me. Uh, and and while this is a joint forced investigation, you know. It still seems to be more than that, you know, when you, when you really see how she's navigating around the folks she's questioning and, 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 and whatnot. So, you know, yes, she's definitely the star power. She's definitely the reason why you want to get into this. But I also think, like, we still have a lot more questions and answers instantly with her cash or with her character, Kristen Ramsey. Uh, but in this though, like let, let's let's just call it what it is now. It is still very much, and I may not be the demo, but I I, I think I'm still gonna like kind of um, I'm gonna get through this because the first two episodes, the first one I definitely wasn't hooked. The second one I'm still with a lot of questions, and I don't think I'm like the target demo for this. But I am still going to like watch this because I still have questions that are going to burn me in my head if I don't get answers to. So it is very intriguing on that note. And I again, I think the production itself uh, looks very solid uh, considering that, you know, the backdrop of all of this is a wildfire. It looks dope. It does. It looks really cool just how it just sits in the background that 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 fire burning and the, the, the char sizzling in the background. And then there's the CGI with the animals in this. That's kind of like okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna tough it out a little bit longer to see if it really hooks me. But honestly, I don't think I'm the target demo for this. Um, but it's not bad. It's not bad. But anyway, this is about a teenage boy and a teenage girl. You have Everett and Blake who um, are they're in school and they were on a bus. And when they were on a bus, you know, trying to navigate back to the school with the wildfire causing all sorts of traffic issues and roadblocks and whatnot. 
they were kind of stuck in a position and and obviously this is in the first episode they were stuck in a, they were stuck where the bus driver did not have authority to go forward so they had to kind of wait and stop for instructions the kids were just rallying doing what they usually do rebelling they get off this bus and things get crazy people are getting stampeded by animals and then there are some folks that have gotten bitten and while all this is happening when i say stampeded you're thinking like oh okay cool people got ran over you just seeing the body not moving no this is truly brutal here you're seeing people with slashes and face stomped in so like you know yeah it it, it, it it again the tony here it absolutely gets it gets it gets brutal instantly in this um but with all that being said the two of them ever and blake have both been bitten and now they're starting to notice differences about themselves where Everett's physique has gotten much better Blake who has been struggling with her skin which I just completely did not even acknowledge that there was a skin issue in the first place but they drew so much attention to it I was like okay I guess I got to pay attention but her skin got better because it is um and 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 beyond that too she's also like one of those type of teenagers who's like off the grid she doesn't use her cell phone or anything so she's kind of hard to get in touch with so they're building a profile about her kind of being a loner uh her family stays in the hotel so she's very low-key um and and, and kind of sticks to herself ever on the other hand um lives a very much different like more of a average teenage life shall i say but you know, at the end of the day, the two of them gets bitten and starting to learn a lot about themselves and only to discover that, like, they have been bitten and now may actually be werewolves. So, I, you know, all this is happening in the first episode. Right on their tracks comes Christian Ramsey, again played by Sarah, who is trying to figure out who started this arsonist and, and want to work with Everett and Blake because they were on a bus to get answers about potentially who it could be and she starts to say like listen it was definitely a kid etc 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 um and and we need you to kind of help through this but at the same time too she's targeting two specific people and ever you could kind of understand because he checks into a hospital with a bite and then he just disappears so it's a lot of mystery behind him but this kind of leads from ever and talk ever talking to sarah talking and then the two of them actually being connected to other folks and all these things are starting to come together as to like what potentially may be Christian's real intentions here? While at the same time, while you have folks trying to put out this wildfire, there's also a particular person in the wildfire that everyone is looking for, a person of interest that everyone's looking for. So you have sort of a rescue mission going on there, and this person has ties and connections to other characters as well. So you kind of got all that kind of going on uh, with this too. Um, but with this all being said, I think the, the this series does... Um, do a good job in the, the production. I think the storytelling is intriguing, but still hasn't really stuck for me yet. Um, I love how this series is inclusive. You do have a romantic queer storyline kind of going on here in the first two episodes, but it hasn't really caught its footing. So like it's there and I'm all for representation, but like, and romance, but like with a purpose and that's really hasn't landed just yet. So we're going to have to kind of see how that plays a part. Uh, and I think really another really sneaky thing about this is that it has some really good shots some shots that really really out of a page of a horror film so things definitely get creepy at time and like you have folks that are being haunted by creatures haunted by all sorts of different things that they're hearing creatures and beasts and then i actually i mentioned like the brutality that we kind of got introduced to pretty quickly and it's like things are kind of creepy and then like the cgi with these animals are not really good but yeah so like I said, like it hasn't hooked me yet. It definitely has me with some head scratching moments. There's definitely some very coincidental things and some things that I think are super exaggerated. It's a little bit of a slow burn, but I think it will pick up at some point. And and honestly too, like I, I think that Sarah is going to be fantastic the more and more we get of her because she's so much mystery behind this character yet we know what she's capable of bringing. And while all this is happening with these California wildfires and and, and that backdrop, you know, I think it just really adds a lot of different moving pieces in this that should make for a good series. So, yeah, it's it's not Teen Wolf, folks. It, it is not, uh, and, and it is different. And I think that when you when you when you when you when you go into this, you won't think it's Teen Wolf. But yes, it's easy to think like, okay, Wolfpack could it be sort of a spinoff? Especially how the Teen Wolf movie ends. Could this all be connecting? 
No, this is this is from another. Uh, uh, this is from uh, Edo Van uh, Belcom uh, book. So like your source material for this. So folks going to know they're going to know. Uh, and I think that like wow, you know, to the, the traditional ramp. Uh, oh, excuse me, the, the tradition of werewolves and myths and whatnot. This one just has a different spin to it, and I think that like. Um, what well, I'm sorry. While Teen Wolf has like a different spin to this, this one feels more traditional when it comes down to those myths of what werewolves are. So like, you know, there's a lot of story to be told in this genre, and I think this one will uh, absolutely have its audience, its fan base, and I think it will grow. So, and, and if anything, the production certainly is worth the watch itself. So. But yeah, folks, check it out. Again, the first episode is available now. Jump in the comments. Let me know your thoughts about it. Let me know your thoughts about the first episode. And as always, stay tuned for more reviews very soon.